Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone, we have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about Intensity Scales. This will be the fourth quarter topic on learning competency number 6. This lesson is under the Matatag objectives by the end of the lesson 80 percent of the learners will be able to first is to identify the key components of the local disaster readiness plan related to earthquakes the second one is to demonstrate the correct techniques for drop cover and hold on during the simulated earthquake drills and the third one is to increase confidence in their ability to respond effectively during and after an earthquake by following the local disaster readiness plan in activating the prior knowledge for the short review the learners will answer the peak toward activity to reveal the The following is to define the earthquake intensity scales. So intensity, it describes the effects of the earthquake on the Earth's surface, human structure, and people. It is measured by observing the damage caused by shaking and the ground movement. While magnitude, it represents the total amount of energy release at the earthquake source. So it is measured using instruments called seismographs, which record the ground motion. Modified Mercalli scale, it measures the intensity of the earthquake based on the observed effects on people, structure, and the natural environment. The Modified Mercalli scale uses a scale from 1 to 12, with 1 representing the weakest shaking and the 12 signifying the most severe damage and destruction. Another scale is the richer magnitude scale. So it measuring energy based on the amplitude of the largest seismic wave recorded by a seismograph. With each whole number on the scale, it representing a 31.6 fold increase in energy release. The following are the comparison between intensity and magnitude. So magnitude, it measures the actual strength of the earthquake as its source, while the intensity reflects the effects set at different location. A single earthquake can have different intensity values depending on distance from the epicenter, ground condition, and building structures. 
The following are the factors influencing earthquake intensity. So the first one is the distance from the epicenter. Intensity decreases as distance from the earthquake's epicenter increases. The second one is the ground condition. Soft soils amplify shaking, leading to higher intensity compared to hard bedrock. And the third one is building construction. Older or poorly constructed buildings are more more vulnerable to damage and experience higher intensity. The following are preparing for earthquake emergency. So the first one is to create an emergency plan. So identify safe places in your home, workplace, and school and plan for evacuation routes. The second one is to secure your home. So secure heavy objects, install earthquake resistant straps, and create a family emergency kit. And the last one is to learn first aid and CPR. Prepare for potential injury and be ready to provide immediate assistance in case of an emergency. The following is to demonstrate the drop, cover, and hold on. The following are the earthquake drill scenarios and best practices. So the first one is practice. Regular drills reinforce safety procedures and build confidence. The second one is to stay calm. So remain calm and follow your emergency plan. And the last one is to communicate. So check on family and neighbors, communicate safety information, and seek help in